Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And I was talking about how we, uh, an SDR is fun for the uh, communications that you could see. So this here, I'm in the uh, eight megahertz range for aeronautical frequencies, aeronautical communications. And you could see that there are signals popping up at different places. And this is what's cool about uh, this uh, SDR and, and utilities with SDRs is that you can see the different communications coming through as we are looking at the waterfall. Since there are several frequencies here that have aeronautical communications, you can actually move on and, and try different ones. So here we have A918, which is one of the frequencies. But you see that there are spots showing up here and there. And these have to do with different frequencies, different aeronautical stations uh, in air traffic control. So, for example, let's, uh, let's check it out here. As you can see here, I've been alternating from one signal to the other because with the waterfall, I can see all the active frequencies. And when there's a signal, it appears, I can move on, I can listen to another frequency, I can just click what's new, what's here. So for example, here now is another frequency that's being active. So this is a cool thing of a uh, software-defined receiver is that not only are you listening to the main frequency, 
you can see the activity around it and go and just make sure that you tune that frequency uh, when you want to see what's active and what's happening there. And this is great because that's what you miss when you have a standard radio or portable radio. You're listening to one frequency. You don't know what's happening around you. You don't know what's happening somewhere else on the spectrum. Here you see it. You can actually just change frequency because you know some activity is also happening at another space on the spectrum. Three knots. Have a pen. Temperature one two. 